Government reports today offered analysts more evidence that the nation's economy is headed toward a fourth quarter fall. Federal agencies said personal income in August rose at the lowest rate since April, while orders for durable goods toppled eight-tenths of one percent. And Richard Threlkeld reports a look at the American economic landscape reveals another signal pointing toward recession. These days, the silent skyline of downtown Hartford, Connecticut, is the picture of a recession. The hustle and bustle of the 1980s has been replaced by a landscape of vacant buildings and vacant lots. Just this year, one of Hartford's biggest real estate companies has gone bankrupt, and two of its big hotels and its oldest department store have closed down. It is shocking to have come out of such a boom so quickly into a recession, and I think that that is shocking everybody. Hartford's just one victim of the worst real estate slump to hit this country in a generation. It started in the oil states, spread to the southwest, then the northeast, hit New York and Washington, then Chicago and Minneapolis, and is currently lodged in California, where housing prices are down as much as 27% from a year ago. They just dropped the price of this house half a million dollars, and still there are no takers. Two years ago, homes were selling uh, just uh, at the drop of a hat. Now it's taking a little longer to sell homes, up to six months, sometimes a year. Los Angeles is one of 26 big cities where housing prices are going down, a real estate recession that's pulling the rest of the economy down with it. If home prices soften, uh, the consumer will be less willing to spend on uh, automobiles, uh, washing machines, dishwashers, and travel, and a whole host of uh, consumer items. And it's not just homeowners who are suffering. Big-time developers like Donald Trump and the banks which finance them have found themselves overextended. The big Marriott Hotel Corporation has just decided to stop building half a billion dollars worth of new projects. The real estate boom of the 80s has gone bust in 1990. The real estate between uh, 86 and 89 basically disattached itself from the rest of the economy and went off on its own little boom that was not justified by underlying demand. And we have to now unwind that, and that's going to be a very painful process. And apparently a long process, too. Economists predict it may be as long as five years before the real estate market fully recovers. Dan? Richard Threlkeld. Thanks. Also about the economy, a stunner involving American entertainment giant MCA. Beginning as a jazz band booking agency, MCA now is a major world force in movies and television, owner of real estate, movie houses, Putnam Publishing, and theme parks. But it now appears that empire may fall into Japanese hands. Our business